We're in talk mode. Welcome back. We're here with another book review from uh, well, a book by James Patterson. You know I enjoy the guy. I love his thrillers. This one we're looking at today is Along Came a Spider. One of the things or books or characters that James Patterson's most well known for is Alex Cross. Uh, he's a book, huge book series, loads of books in it. Um, this is the first one, and this was also adapted into a movie starring Morgan Freeman, which is pretty cool. Um, don't actually remember the movie. I'm pretty certain I've watched it, but I didn't remember it. So reading this, I didn't have any spoilers in front of me. So let's get into it. Book is weighing in at 459 pages, written in 1993. As I mentioned, it's the first book in the Alex Cross series. Going to give you a little bit of the blurb and then we'll discuss some of the bits. So, two children have been kidnapped from an elite private school in Washington, D.C. and Detective Alex Cross is charged with finding them. The kidnapper's identity is quickly determined as one of the children's teachers, but capturing him is the true challenge. As Cross gets pulled deeper into the strange world of the kidnapper, it becomes clear he is far more dangerous than anyone could have anticipated. You know, I love myself uh, James Patterson thriller, and this is up there with one of his best. Really enjoyed this book. Exploring some of the themes is obviously, you know, a detective novel, um, thriller, mystery, with a particular focus on serial killers. And you can really tell from it being written in 1993 that this was a popular topic back then. We've seen all these documentaries about serial killers in the 80s and stuff. So it really like buys into that. And this is one of them type of serial killers that you'd see on those documentaries. So pretty, pretty interesting read with that regard. Now, it's although it's uh, predominantly a detective novel, it explores some themes, societal themes back in the early 90s. So our our protagonist is a character of African American descent, um, and it explores the different racial and injustice that was occurring at the time, how how people from different races were treated, um, people's or society's view on mixed race couples in. It looks at a lot of that, and a lot of the book you can see tonally set includes well, we we read the book through the protagonist's perspective as per usual. So a lot of those, the way characters interact with them, the things he sees, things he experiences, we see a lot of that real world uh, influence there, especially at the time in the nineties when we were only just coming to a point where. You could say racial inequality was getting less. Truth be told, it still exists today. But it was moving forward. We were moving forward to the times. And this book shows the or explores the difference between those people who are still stuck in the past and those people who are, who have moved, moved on uh, and are, have become accepting to the changes that are naturally occurring and should be occurring across our society so yeah man it's pretty 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 interesting to to have a book that that isn't the main subject the main subjects about this detective story about a serial killer kidnapper whatever you want to call it but we explore these other quite heavy topics in the background uh while we're reading this book and for that uh, james patterson's done a great job of exploring that I guess writing it in 1993 was still so prevalent in our society that he was just is it's observation of the real world really in some of those instances. So yeah, James Patterson as always created a, a another thriller that is just captivating, page turning. You know, one of them ones. Um, I 
well, when I first read the book, which now at the time of recording, it's been a couple of weeks, I was like on it to get the rest of the Alex Cross books. And um, oh, I still I still want to, but I'm going to take it a little bit slower. I think I like to model up what I'm reading, try and explore different characters, different genres, different authors, and have a little bit of a mix. But certainly I will be revisiting uh, the rest of Alex Cross's uh, adventure to see how it goes and continues. There's even been one that's literally just released, uh, a Cross Down, I think it's called. But yeah, there's a lot of books in this series, man. So if you're a completionist like me, this is a big undertaking to start reading this book. In terms of a rating, we're going to give this book a solid, solid four. It's a great book. Not quite to the level where it's blown my mind, as I like to say, but great book, solid detective novel. Let me know if you've already read it. If you've read other books in the series, let me know if it's worth reading the rest of the series. Thank you so much for listening. You can contact me at Wahab Originals on Twitter and Instagram. Take care. Goodbye.